if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Man, I finally captured this on video, but there's one tiny little piece missing out of this uh, bunch of parts on this bench for this carburetor, and this one piece will make you pull your hair out because it's needed and it affects the entire throttle range from closed throttle to wide open. Take a look at the meat of what this video is going to be about, but it's going to be obviously what the part is, what it does. I'm going to show what happens when it's missing. I'm also going to show how it affects the jet needle and needle jet and how they all work together. I'm going to show a bunch of other examples that have the same part in it. Uh, then I'm going to get really deep, a deep dive into what's the actual function of this part, uh, not just how it reacts. Uh, a couple announcements on some upcoming stuff and then I'm going to show you like how I can save the day because this part either flung across the room or it's missing from the last technician. And you could be chasing your tail trying to figure out, well, do I have uh, a fuel problem? Do I have an electrical problem? It'll mask itself in multiple different ways. Let's make a quick list of what will not fix a missing part in a carburetor. Swapping jets for different sizes. No matter how many you try, it will not fix it. Swapping out fresh fuel just because it smells bad or old or stanky won't fix it. Rebuilding the carburetor with a you know popular rebuild kit or even a jet kit, it just simply doesn't come with this missing piece and doesn't come with a lot of pieces in the carburetor. Keep that in mind on rebuild kits. And here's where things get really bad. That terrible question. It must be ignition, right? Wrong. This is where we start just throwing parts at it and we go uh, from least expensive to most expensive. So we'll start with the spark plug. Oh, that doesn't fix it. Oh, it must be the coil. Well, we'll do the coil. We might even break it down to the trigger coil, but ultimately you're ended up replacing an ECM because nothing else can fix it. When in reality, it had nothing to do with ignition at all and it was simply a missing part in the carburetor. It's also another good reason to tune into our ignition training videos. I know what you're thinking. If you're a sub of this channel, you're thinking, seriously, do another carb video? Don't you have like 100 on here? I do, but in this video, I have never filmed this. I've never recorded it. I've never shown this save the day uh, problem or situation. And at first I was bummed because the car I just took this carburetor apart. It's off a TW200. Uh, we're getting ready to go do some dirt biking in the woods. I'm super stoked. I'm going to get my 400 ready. I've uh, been riding another 200 myself with my girlfriend teaching her how to ride. And we've been just having a blast. So uh, it's just... All weekend here, I've been making content on how to adjust valves on these, how to do a carb job, how to uh, uh, change the oil. I mean, just a whole maintenance, right? So I get in, I'm like, oh, I'm going to knock out the carb, order a couple of uh, all ball carb kits. Um, and about the only thing I use out of these are the bowl gasket and the float needle assembly, like sometimes the screws. But uh, anyway, of course, somebody lost this tiny little piece, and you have to have it. And it's funny because with my girlfriend being a you know a brand new rider, having never rode anything before, there's no way she'd know the performance was missing or that there's an issue with this piece going, uh, this piece in the carburetor missing. And it doesn't like it's not going to blow the engine up, but it definitely affects throttle response and how it works and I'm going to show you what that piece is I'm going to show you what to do because I'm screwed I want to ride in the next couple days and I can't I don't have time to order one so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and I'm going to make it super legit and this is going to be a cool video and if you haven't done so I'd highly suggest you join the channel because you know what I'm going to make this a member video this is going to be one of those perks this is for the people supporting the channel so first off come back i'm gonna have that member video for you but i want to say thank you we had an amazing week of uh people signing up and i got a ton of personal notes this week said hey i can't afford a lot but i wanted to do something and this i've, I've always kind of wanted to you know say thanks but uh you know i just I, I don't have a lot of money whatever and like this was a killer way for me to throw a few bucks at you and be able to uh, feel like I'm supporting you. And that's exactly why we did it. We love it. We get 100,000 people doing that. We'd be rocking and rolling. I'd get rid of all the ads, and this would be awesome. So can't thank you enough. Uh, and I, I just want to say this too. Man, I'm human. 
I get burned out like everybody else. I mean, I work a full-time job. Any of the stuff you see in How to Wrench is evenings, weekends, after my regular duties. So I love the emails. Uh, once in a while, people send stuff, you know, they, whatever. I, I just love the contact and communication because it, it just at the end of really hard, long days, it makes me go, man, this is really worth it, you know? So my little community, uh, I dig you. Thank you for everything. Members, that video is coming your way. As always, my friends, like, share, subscribe, make it a great day, and keep wrenching. Thank you.